Hi everybody, welcome back, Evoland! Oh man, we're still in the mines of Noria. We've got this light puzzle to deal with before we can go into this room full of bats and kill them all. Uh, I think we just have to touch each square something like... Not like that, because see, like, the light puzzle cancels. We have to, uh, I think if we start, like, up here... Oh man, this is gonna take forever. We gotta make sure that we... Oh, is that? Oh look, when you go back... Okay, so we have to light it all up. Oh, I see, okay, so we're gonna have to come back. So we probably want a corner bit to, uh... Oh, this might work, actually. Look, we'll do it like this. We'll have it follow around to the last one. There, we got it. No problem. The light puzzle, complete. It didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to the first time I saw it. Okay, uh, I'm killing bats! Oh man, I love killing bats. Watch out, there's spikes on the floor in here. Uh, that bat just ran into a wall and died. Uh, I'm not even gonna- oh sh- oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is- this is not going to end well for me. <laughs> just try to- <laughs> oh Jesus! What's in here? Got a key. Oh no, I'm gonna have to travel back over these spikes and avoid the wind again. Come on, wind. Don't- don't suck me- Oh, okay, great. That- that was much easier the way back. Uh, very low on health, though. Oh, finally, I can save, too, as well. All I gotta do is dispatch this bat. Save. Oh, great. Perfecto. What's in here? Lava? Oh, no, not lava. Can- Can we put that unlock back in the chest? I- I- I don't like- I don't like lava. This mine beca becomes more and more sinister as we progress through it. Uthgard's about to tell me this. Look. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Me too, Uthgard. It was the moment that the lava turned up. That's when it all uh, went bad for me. Watch your steps. Okay, no problem. Oh, pff. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, we have to inch our way through here so as to not fall into the... Oh, my God. I, I really could use that part, actually. Uh, there, okay, there we go. We'll just make our way around here very slowly. Get this pot as well. Oh, great. There. We're recharging our health. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I can't even see anymore. Is there any way to, like, tilt my camera? Maybe I'm get about to get that right now. You got auto-fire. The key to success is good timing. If I press Q and E, no, I can't rotate my camera around. Uh, as far as I know, anyway. Auto-fire. Oh, okay, I can hold space now and, and automatically uh, swipe with my sword. So I can actually just do this if I want. Uh, I, sh I probably shouldn't, though. I should probably try to avoid all these fireballs. Oh, good grief. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh my god. Jesus! <laughs> oh fuck, okay. No problem. Old Sipsy's got it. God. That went very well, actually. Surprisingly. Okay, I feel a lot better now. Uh, there's bats and a skeleton. Still... Oh my god, okay. Uh, I don't feel better now. I'm gonna get some health. As much health as I can get. There's a door here. I'm gonna... I guess we just gotta kill everything in this room. God damn it. Come on, you bats. Oh. Okay. Hit this guy a couple times. Okay, we got him. Oh my lord. Uh... Oh my god. He, he turned around very quick. Alright. Uh, let's try to get this guy as well. Quite pro oh, okay, we got one of them at least. Those red wizards are pretty tough. I wouldn't want to be in a room with more than two of them. Uh, <laughs> watch later on. There's probably going to be a room with like a billion in them. Okay, we got him this time. There we go. A health. Oh, we're almost full health. Great. Let's get this guy. Come on, skeleton. Oh shit. No. I want to be full health. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's opened the door again. And the other door, too. So if we want to go back and try that fireball maze puzzle thing again, we can. Oh, nice. There's Chester, too. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got the boss door key. Oh, shit. No, I... No, I'm not ready to... I'm not ready to fight the boss. Although... In saying that, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind actually fighting the boss and getting out of the mines of Noria. Because I want to save Uthgard's uh, hometown from uh, from the evil that is threatening her hometown at the moment. Uh, there's another chest down there too, which uh, I don't know if I can get. Is there like a secret way into there? Or maybe after the boss is dead I can get it? I hope I'm not missing like too many chests. Oh god. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try to fight this boss. 
See, I can't get... Oh, look, that's up now. Oh, that switch! That switch is like, activated all of these stone things. So that means I can get some of these chests. Like this one. It's got a star! We found ten stars! And I got like a really good achievement. Oh man, you gotta love getting achievements. Okay, let's make sure that we didn't miss any more of these. Can I actually... I wanna go through this as well. Can I like... Can I push it? No. Okay. Must need like a bomb or something. Do we need a bomb? It's probably a bomb. Is there like some sort of secret way in here? I can't remember if there's any more chests like behind water. I think that must be the boss's room. The boss chest. Oh, how do you get in there? Oh, we... I think we need to get... Maybe the boss will drop it. Maybe he'll drop like some sort of like... Maybe... Maybe I can like Fuzroda that... That wall. That'd be great as well, actually. Alright, let's go check out this boss anyway. I think if we are missing chests, it'll just be stars and cards and stuff like that. You can probably get one in there as well. Uh... God, I hope this isn't a hard boss. Oh, look! There we go. Full health. We would've gotten full health. Uthgird... Senses a strong evil presence ahead. Oh, I'm so glad you're here with me, Uthgird, doing like nothing. I hope it's not another frightening monster. It won't be, don't worry. It'll probably just be like a sleepy librarian or something. Don't worry about it. Maybe a cute one this time? Maybe, if you're, if you're lucky. Oh shit. Okay, it's on now. Something is coming, and he has three purple hearts. Oh no! You shall not pass! Oh, it's my evil shadow twin thing. Hey, he looks like you, Bert Ray. Oh no! Is it a real foe or just a shadow? Ah, uh, whatever it is, we have no choice but to fight it. Oh god damn it! Oh no, I'm not. I'm not good at boss fights. Oh jeez, he has a lot of good moves too. He's got like that fast move and the, the fire move. Oh look, it can make bats. Why can't I do any of this cool stuff? Oh look how many bats he can make. Do they drop hearts? Oh good, at least they drop hearts. That's at least something. Watch out for the fire. Alright, we're gonna get this. Oh, I got him. Normal attacks do not seem to affect him. Okay, Uthgird. Uh, what, what do you suggest that I do then? Uh, is there like some sort of way to, um, trap him? Oh. Oh, I, I took a, I took quite a bad hit there. Oh, look. Oh, I think we have to wait until he does that spin move into the wall and then attack him. Okay, we've got this. We'll try to get some hearts from these bats as well. So we want to lure him close to the wall so that he does his charge move. Ah, oh, we got oh, Okay, we got this. Just got to rinse and repeat a couple of times. Okay, he wasn't close to the wall. It looks like he's wearing like a sinister policeman's hat. <laughs> Come on. Come on, beat cop. Oh shit, I didn't get him. Okay. We're almost... Oh, uh, no. Not quite, actually. He's still ahead of me health-wise. Okay, do your... Come on, do your move. No. Alright, this way. No. No, we don't want you facing this way. We want you to hit the wall. If you're gonna do your charge move. Okay, come on. Yeah, okay. It's even now. Even Steven. We have the same amount of health. Actually, I've just taken the lead. Oh, yeah. Quick thinking. Ah, oh, you're going down, beat cop. There's no way you can survive this onslaught. Hmm. Me and Uthgard together, we're gonna rinse your ass. Oh shit. We almost... Ah, oh, this, this is it. This is the finishing move. Ah, oh, I just Johnny caged your ass. With my finishing move. That's right. Big sack punch. Alright, first boss. Uh, in the Zelda Link sort of style um, fighting, which was very hard actually. Um, I, I probably would have done better with a controller, um, but I don't have a controller, so, so there we go. What's in here? You got a legendary sword, it looks heavy, but very cool. Does it remind you of some past hero? Oh, oh my god. How cool does it look? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Is that clouds? It's clouds. It's, it's the Final Fantasy VII sword. I can feel fresh air coming from outside. Oh, finally. I think we've reached the exit of the Noria Mines. Oh, great. Let's hurry to my village. I hope it's not too late. Oh, fuck yeah, Uthgard. You're the best. I want some more Final Fantasy 7... Uh, not, not necessarily 7, but Final Fantasy style fights. Those are the best. What's in here? Uh... I... Hello? Oh, there we go. 3D fights! Hold on until the fourth dimension arrives. What, what does a 3D fight do? 
Oh, it does this. Look at this. Look at this. This looks fantastic. Holy shit. Okay, let's take out this bee. Oh, we one-shot the bee with our special cloud move. Okay, give us some health. Please, Uthgird. I love how it swaps in between the two different types of games. Oh, this is so fantastic. Man, those mushrooms can take a bit of a beating. Uh, who was that? That was Uthgird. Come on, Uthgird. Your only job is to heal while I kill the, uh, the mushrooms. That's right. Uh, actually, you can attack a mushroom this time. Oh, six damage. You serious? Actually, that's not too bad. We managed to get him. That's fine. Whoa, listen to the music now! Wow, 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 wow. 320 gliss and 15 XP. Burt Ray has reached level 5. His attack has increased. Oh, yeah. Uthgard has reached level 5. Her defense has increased. Oh, man. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. Look at this. Look at how nice this game looks. Holy shit. I hope it just stays like this. I hope it doesn't change anymore, actually. It just looks fantastic. This is perfect. Jesus Christ, this is so good. Okay, let's take out this B. So long, B. Uh, poor Uthgard has taken a couple of hits from the mushrooms so she can heal. Burt Ray, big critical strike. No, no. It's only 26 damage. Uh, come on, Uthgard. Just, just heal up. Actually, oh, look, I love doing this too. Look, attack the other guy. <laughs> and now we can let Uthgard finish up, even though actually we probably want Burt Ray to do it. But look at this. Dead and dead. So good. 320 gliss and, and some more XP. Oh, great. Uh, where the hell are we going? Is there a map? Can we see? Copper armor, potion, longsword, Claude's sword. <laughs> we have Claude's sword, which is really good. So it's one of the best. Look at this thing. It fucking owns, actually. Alright, B, take that. There we go. 120 gliss. Man, we're gonna be so rich. Oh, okay, there's like a haunted forest. Oh, that must be her town. Look, it's all dead around it because of the sinister forces attacking her town. Don't worry, Uthgard, we're gonna sort it out. We're gonna make it beautiful once again. That's another thing that's really awesome in in uh, Final Fantasy games. You always come across a town that's just been decimated by evil, uh, and then you sort it out and it becomes very beautiful again. I love that. I love doing that. Okay, Uthgard, big heals. Oh shit, uh, we're gonna attack the mushroom guy, Uthgard. We don't need your heals just yet, so you can attack the mushroom guy as well. Big finisher. Come on. Uh, a critical strike would've been great there, actually. It would've saved us having to go back through this, this next fight. Okay, more money, more XP. This must be the, the place. This has gotta be the place. Alright, here we go. Uthgard, is this your hometown? Oh, look at this. We got pre-rendered backgrounds, a new way to display things with much more details. Welcome to Augal City. Does that say Augal? Oh, now it's like Final Fantasy VII. This is like Final Fantasy VII now. At last, we're back. I hope everyone is fine. I'm happy the village has not been swallowed by the wastes. Oh man. Will the power of the crystal be enough to save us? I hope so. This reminds me a bit of Final Fantasy I, where like, uh, you have to fight like the Earth guy and activate the earth orb uh, he's like a, and there's like a vampire down there and once you activate the earth orb that the town that is being affected by the earth like being corrupted is saved really good okay it's not our gal it's our guy our guy welcome to our guy okay <laughs> our village was once flourishing look at it now the mana tree used to protect the whole country. Oh, no, not the mana tree. Now something powerful has come back to the Black Citadel. Oh, no, not a Black Citadel as well. And started corrupting the mana tree to spread the waste. <laughs> I fear the whole of Augai will be gone soon. And it will not stop here. Oh, shit. That's bad. Can we go in here? No, but we can save like a billion times. Look. All right, we're all saved up. Can we go in any of these rooms? Oh, what's out here? Now loading. Oh, s sweet. Pre-rendered backgrounds need to load. It's just like playing the PlayStation again. Hello? Can I talk to you? I've heard very worrying rumors lately. People say even the sacred grove to the south had been corrupted. Oh no, not the sacred grove. <laughs> it was such a quiet and wonderful place. If that is true, I fear there's no hope left. Man, oh, this is really bad. God, 
Uthgard, I didn't realize that, like, the people from your hometown are such a, such a pickle. God, they're in such a dilly of a pickle. Oh my god, holy shit, we just hit the bonanza. Look at this. It's like 20 chests. Got restless child. Oh, there's always one. He keeps running around all day long. There's always one child chasing a butterfly. Running around is really tiring. I'd rather play with firecrackers. Okay. Oh shit, we got card players. Ready for a game? Oh, do we want to try this? It's like Pokemons, I think. We must keep our spirits high despite what is happening. Perhaps if you would care to join us for a game of Pokemons, we might feel a little bit better about our, our town slipping gently down the shitter. <laughs> I'm your man. If you want to play a friendly game of Double Twin, yes! Choose the deck you want to play against. You'll unlock more decks if you win. Uh, rules. Each player starts with five cards drawn at random from his deck. Players take turns placing cards on the board until it is filled. You can capture your opponent's cards if you place an adjacent card with a higher power on the relevant side. Okay. Player with the highest number of cards to his color wins the game. Alright. Cards in hand also count as one point. Fantastic. In case of a draw, the challenging player, you, will lose. Oh, I'm always the challenger. Okay, I'm ready. I, we'll, we'll try this out once and just see how, see how it goes. Easy. That's all we can do. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we got bat. Okay, so if we place the bat uh, oh, we can actually pick which card we want to do. Okay, let's try to pick the lowest one possible. Uh, and one that isn't, like, weak on the flanks. Uh, mm, that might work. That could get us, like, at the top in the corner. Ideally, we don't want that guy on the right side. Uh, or that guy, because it's a three. And that guy as well. I mean, this guy sucks. Like, complete balls. We need him on the top of the bottom. Uh, flanked with cards on either side. Uh, okay, well, this one's probably good to place in the corner down here. There we go. We, we took it. It's ours now. Look at that's not too bad. Oh, shit. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, bats? No. Uh, can we do this? Oh, shit. I think we lost that card, uh, which is a bit of a shame, actually. It's a five and a five on either side of this one, so that might be okay. Let's do this. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, we're gonna cook this guy's goose big time. Uh, oh, look at this. We're gonna get a double whammer right here. Look at this. Oh, fuck yes. Bam! Take that, you son of a bitch. Seven to three. Take that. Oh, you only got one. You suck. Look at this. We're gonna get this. Oh, uh, here we go. I don't... There's no way he can win now. I've got it. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. That's fantastic. Did I win all those cards? Oh, look, he's not hes not happy. You got card player. You have won a game of double twin. <sighs> Fucking chumps. What, what a bunch of chumps. I totally won that. Okay. You got expensive merchant. There's always people who profit from a crisis. Oh, damn it. Okay, expensive merchant. What do you got? It's hard to get supplies these days. Still, I have some quality gear for a very fair price. Buy? Oh, come on. Oh, look at this. A fast DVD player and a rare card. 10,000 bucks. Well, we can get silver armor anyway. You bought the item silver armor. Your defense has increased. Great. Uh, did that... Did you equip it straight away? You must have. We got so many items. It's nuts. All right. Let's continue up here. I still can't run. Uh, not that I know of anyway. Maybe I need to press, like, shift or control? No, it doesn't work. Is this a bread baker? Hello? The ruins of Sarudnak to the northeast hold many treasures and dangers. You seem like a nice guy, so I'll give you a discount on any bone mending if you go there. Okay, do you need any healing now? No, come on, we're fine. Got Uthgird. Jeez. Uh, this poor town, look at... Like, a lot of people have left, I think. Oh, look, Uthgard's gonna... We cannot leave yet. We need to talk to my uncle first. Okay, sorry, Uthgard. There's a big airship floating above his house. We'll find him easily... Oh, my God. I said to myself before I started playing this, if this game has an airship in it, it's gonna be one of my all-time faves. Uh, God, it's looking promising. I gotta say, it's looking really promising that there's gonna be an airship in this game. Holy shit. That's incredible. Okay, we're gonna find this uncle's house and find this airship. It's gonna be great. 
I hope I can travel around on it and like have like multiple party members that I can leave on the airship so that it like feels like home every time I get into the airship. Oh man, that'd be great. I can't go into any of these doors and I can't see an airship flying above anybody's house. Uh, unless there's gonna be like a big shadow on the ground. Maybe there's- oh, okay. No, there's the airship. I see it. Alright, uh, let's wrap up here, actually. We'll, we'll stop here, uh, for this episode. Next episode, we will talk to the uncle, find out about this cool airship that is, uh, hovering in the background right behind me, and- and see what that girl with the purple bandana is all about as well. And- and carry on trying to, um, restore this town back to its former glory. Looks a bit like Tatooine or something around here. Oh, of course, there's no grass or trees in Tatooine, but, uh, it still does look very Star Wars-ish around here. Uh, I find, anyway. Um, as usual, thanks for watching, and, uh, I will see you next time!